Hello everyone, this is Yugaya Rajat from Rain Studio. So welcome to yet another vlog style video and in today's video we will talk about what will happen to most of these DBAs, network guys, Linux administrator and system admin. So in today's video I'll try to articulate my reasons about why I think that the jobs like database administrators, Linux administrators, network administrators and everything in between are going to be reduced substantially in the future in the wake of this cloud first movement. So subscribe to Rain Studio's YouTube channel in order to learn more about software development. Also make sure to click the bell icon in order to be notified whenever a new content is available on the channel. So let's start with why do I think that these jobs are going to be reduced. See as we are aware that cloud is taking the world by storm which means that most of the deployment and administration related activities are moving to the cloud layer. Hence we just rent a space on somebody else's server and we deploy the code on that server. So most of the times these companies, these startups are writing code and then they are deploying that code to the server where the hosting or the cloud provider is responsible for keeping the network and the databases and the infrastructure up. We as someone who has rented that space or infrastructure do not have to be concerned about the availability of the software. It is the guarantee given to us by those cloud service providers. So most of the times we do not require these dedicated GBAs and network guys in order to keep our stack up. I stack that is hosted on cloud infrastructures like AWS, Google Cloud, Firebase, Heroku and things like that. So the startups which are leveraging these cloud first stacks do not always require a dedicated GBA or a network guy to keep everything in track which means that the startup can cut down on such resources. So, so all of these jobs which were once crucial to the healthy working of attack stacks are now getting reduced because the liabilities are moved over to the cloud forefront. Hence the companies who are managing these clouds are responsible for the upkeep of their database infrastructure and network infrastructure and the kernel patches and whatever security patches applied to their Linux or whatever Unix operating systems. So I think that if you are a network administrator or a DBA who are working in a service uh, provider company or in a company where the startup is running its own stack in recent future you will probably move to the cloud and then your company will not require a lot of DBAs or network guys as they have employed at this current moment. So here I am not implying that the company who is employing you as a network administrator or a DBA is going to throw you out. I mean is going to throw all of their DBAs or network guys out. I am saying that 90% or more than 95% of those jobs will be cut down because if the company was doing with 10 DBS today in case it moved to the cloud it would get away with only employing one DBA because now the complexity has moved to someone else's code and that code in this case is the cloud service provider and the cloud service provider most probably will be employing quite a lot of DBS at their own end in order to keep their database infrastructure or the network admin guys to keep the network up all the time so that the person or the companies who have rented space from them can get 99.99% or more than that upchild. So in case you are eyeing a responsibility or a job as a network admin or a Linux administrator or a DBA or something like that, I think that you should prepare for companies like Amazon, Google Cloud and Firebase, Heroku and all because these will be the company which will end up employing quite a lot of network guys, DBAs and system administrators and things like that because they will be responsible for managing most of such stacks. 
most of the startups are just going to employ the devops guy and the developers who will be responsible for coding the functionalities of the tech solutions and deploying them on our cloud infrastructures purchased from services like aws or google cloud or any other cloud service provider out there which means that the competition is going to be cutthroat because these companies have a higher bar as compared to service provider companies like tcs wipro or any other third party service provider company which hire these network administrators and dba guys in hordes just as to ensure that collectively they will make the tech stack work so the amount of knowledge you have to have in order to get employed in companies like aws and google cloud and things like that is going to be quite higher then the amount of knowledge you will require in order to get placed in a service provider company hence i would request you in case you are targeting such roles make sure you prepare your best and you only prepare for companies like aws google cloud and heroku and digital ocean and things like that because these will be the companies which will end up eating quite a lot of infrastructure hosting in the near future once the cloud takes over 100% of the stack of course there are going to be companies which will host their own stack and those company will employ their own dedicated system administrators linux administrators and database administrators but the number by which they are going to employ such professionals is going to be substantially less in number so now you cannot rely on the fact that you are always going to get a job as a linux administrator or a support administrator or a database administrator in some third party service provider company or uh, in some company easily it is going to be a hell lot harder once the cloud takes over because the number of such jobs are going to be reduced due to the movement of the complexity or the responsibility of managing these networks and database stacks to the cloud so it is like delegating the task so you have to move to the companies which are actually managing the stack itself which means that now you have to prepare for companies which are going to take up quite a lot of professionals related to linux administration and database administration and things like that because it is their primary job which means that now you have to target cloud service providers so this is my whole unpopular opinion about what is going to happen to jobs like database administrators and linux administrators and things like that because the cloud is taking over more and more startups are realizing the advantages of employing a cloud where they do not really have to hire a dedicated linux admin guy or a database administrator in order to fine tune their application so that they can perform moderately without much efforts from the development side right so all these administrators sitting at those cloud services company make sure that the instances are always fine tuned the security patches are always applied which means that now you do not really have to employ a linux administrator to take care of the security of your linux kernel or your linux server because cloud service providers are ensuring that on their own end so now you can just not worry about all of those things has a company which was doing with 10 linux administrator will do away with nine of those and it will only make do with a single linux administrator which will be responsible for advising the devops and the developer teams about how to uh, migrate their code to the aws or the google cloud and what kind of droplets or servers they should create what kind of resources uh, they should plan for what kind of cost they are going to incur so this will be more on the side of architectural things so the linux guys or the dba guys who are going to save their jobs and stay in most traditional organizations are going to be the guys who have a knack for architectural things who know how to 
take decisions what sort of infrastructure would be sufficient for the tech solutions of a company and things like that so in case you want to uh, you know prepare yourself for a sustained career in your third party provider companies make sure you prepare yourself for all such roles which are more oriented on the architectural side all the mechanical sides like applying patches and uh, opening the network ports and things like that are going to be moved to the cloud layer and those cloud service provider will take care of all of that so in case you are interested in managing and applying those patches or opening the ports and uh, working with net mask and, and things like that make sure you prepare yourself for getting employed by companies like AWS or any cloud oriented company out there. So this was my unpopular opinion about what is going to happen to all such DBA and Linux administrator roles and I know that there will be people who would not relate to whatever I have said in this video but I hang out quite a lot of network administrator guys and I have worked myself as an Oracle DBA in the past hence I know like the tech scene of these job profiles is changing ferociously. Now most of the companies are asking their tech solutions to be moved to AWS and things like that so that they can do away with some of the network guys and the DBA guys so that they can cut down on the cost because human resources are more costlier than the hardware resources so they want to just get access to these cloud services which are cheaper to first of all host to deploy to and to maintain which means then they can cut down on these human resources which means more profit for the companies I know there would be people who would not agree with whatever I have mentioned in this video and in case you are one such person make sure you chime in with your opinion so that the community can benefit from your opinion as well because simply this was my opinion and I could be wrong but as per my speculation I think this is going to be the future of these job profile but do not forget to leave your unpopular opinion about the issue in the comment section in case you are new here make sure to subscribe to this channel because on this channel we talk about all such issues and we also learn how to write web applications and mobile applications so in case you are interested in any of those things make sure to give this channel a subscribe and give this video a thumbs up in case you like the content in case you have any suggestions regarding how to improve the quality of content on this channel make sure to leave a comment on this video or any video you watch on this channel so this is Rikara just Saxena signing off take care bye bye